Hello, hello, and welcome back to Random Game Adventures. Today we are looking at Half Minute Hero Super Mega Neo Climax Ultimate Boy. Yes, one of the longest names. So, this is an interesting game. It's, as it, the name says, the main game is about 30 seconds of action. You start off, and you've unlocked different modes as you go. You start off, um, it has 30 seconds, and you develop from there. I'll explain that in a second. We'll just say there are, you can change the graphics between normal and. Here we've got kind of like classic, and you can. You actually don't get these two modes at the very beginning unless you're in this mode. This is like the, how the game was originally, and then it's been changed to this kind of different or modern texture mode, less pixel graphics. You can see here. So we're going to jump into single player. We'll go straight for the hero. Um, Thirty minutes. I've actually complete. Yeah, I've completed this. So I'll just find a level because I haven't completed it like everything 100% if it's red start means you have there's also like different paths that you can take so there's quite a lot of different levels and different gear that you can use when you when the path splits so here it's split and I could do this one or this one if I go into this one I can't use the gear that I've got from right at the end you can only use the gear that you got at this point so if I go in here Unless because I haven't done it before I can, but I doubt it. So there's normally this little cutscene and the time goddess talks to you. Um, and she's saying that there's times difference. So we're just going to start with whatever gear she's going to give us. And here's the end. Okay, there's not normally these lines on the screen. I don't know what's going on. It's a bit of a dodgy. This doesn't normally happen. So normally, it's kind of, the combat does everything itself. You just wander around and fight into stuff, and it will fight for you. You can flee, but otherwise, you just fight for yourself. When you're in a village, time stops. You can heal in villages, especially you heal and talk to people. If they don't have an exclamation mark. They normally don't have anything interest that interesting to say. Some villages will have a statue that, if you pray at it, will reset time. And sometimes you can buy items from them. Try and get as much money as we can. And then change time. Come on. And by the end of... You have to beat the final lord at the end within the time. And now we can swim because we've got the rubber ring works for it. Go over to this version so it's got what I mean by that is buy a herb. How much is that herb? The same price. So you can buy herbs that you can then use in battle, seeing as that was the same price as <laughs> we've got a full set of spoon gear. Seeing as that was the same price as the other gear, the uh, just the normal food, I might as well buy some extra herbs. But we want to level up until it, it will say that you're better than evil when you are. There's, there's nowhere else to go. So it's from in here, trigger in here, stop. And then they normally have a little text and you just run at them. And they'll do damage and they'll do damage. And then they have a little bit of text. And you can skip all this, I'm actually going to do that, but there's like a little thing and they say I think you can give you some extra gear and then you can just skip through the credits. So maybe you can play it at whatever pace you want. Apparently I've just got a new record for that, but I haven't played it before so that'll be why. And it goes on like that, and there's a small bit of a storyline, but not much, it's more just about... It's more kind of almost a puzzle, you've got to try and get it. Sometimes the harder like parts of the quest are more information. So it's, this woman normally says... Oh, she says you'll go far and hide if you have a ship, so sometimes there's different ways to go through places. So, like, if you go here, you can see at the bottom, it says OK for two routes under the swords. This one isn't. This one's only got one of the routes, so it's just there hasn't got the ship route that there must be a way to get. 
because they didn't actually properly talk to everyone. So that's that. That's it's quite the combat's quite tight. Normally it's quite puzzly. There's some things where to complete the bonus objectives you have to like run straight to a specific thing and farm a very specific mob that gives more gold than other mobs and do stuff in a certain order and it's kind of a bit of a puzzle but you can just like blast through the game just playing it normally if we actually let's let's uh exit should it save normally save automatically so we'll exit yes and to go back to the main menu you have got more power i've never actually played the multiplayer and you can, I'm guessing it looks like you have to beat the other heroes to get to the end and you can choose different maps. No, I don't want, yes, I don't want, I don't have anyone that I want to fight here, so. So if we go into single player, we've got these other two, I don't know what the other modes are. Evil Lord mode, you are an evil lord, but you are not the ultimate evil guy. It's a bit weird and princess you are the princess we'll just have a quick look at both of them it's quite good they're almost full games in themselves and so you get quite a lot of your money when playing this i don't know whether this would have saved our last it doesn't look like it has which is a bit annoying this might be some oh this is like a thing you have to do all in one go you have to so you this guy actually summons different things and you have to go through destroying all these statues and when you destroy a statue, you get more powerful, and then you can talk. There's not many people in here, so this guy's gonna question. So these sort of terrifying ones are in the safe. This goddess is here, and you can heal. I didn't really need to do that. And then you can fight through with this guy who summons stuff instead of actually fights with a sword. And you can see he's really slow, and as he levels up, he gets more stuff that you can summon. So it's quite interesting. And if we, yeah, if we go to princess mode, this, in this mode, you are on a horse and carriage, and you have to, I don't think this is one stage of it, looks it. Oh no, this is a different mode. Okay, so, you are actually... Okay, so if you're playing the mode on, I'll show you with the different graphics. This is the herbs in those woods. They say the apples in the spring can heal the sick. I don't actually know what we have to do here. I'm going to buy a herb, because you never know. So I'm, I have a princess and I shoot arrows. And apparently I'm just going to get hit by those rock man. Um... The other princess mode is in the uh, original version is much different to this. Let's run away, get out of here. Doesn't look like we can speed over, we're gonna... Okay, well, I'm not actually exit mode thing as I don't know how that works, but as you can... So there's that mode, I was surprised if it would be the same. We'll change the graphics, I'll just load back in. Okay, so we're back in at princess mode. Now in this mode, these three people come to you with quests. This guy wants you to get a bit of herb. And there's a little bit of dialogue and you can just skip all this if you want. And then you come out in your little contingency with your knights. And you choose, this is a bit harder without a controller, but you can choose a direction to fire in. And there's like a few hints and... Oh god. There we go, we've got a bit of herb, and then we're going to have to go back. But you have to make it in the same in 30 seconds. And without losing as many notes as you can. That this one is the only one so far that I've had trouble with using a keyboard as opposed to a controller even though it does suggest that you use a controller to play this game it's, there are so few um, keys that normally doesn't matter this one has slight interesting cutscenes most of it's obviously this kind of pixely based kind of thing And then there's more quests you can choose which one you're going to do. 
There's a twin monster, an axe finder, or lost in the desert. Just exit out of this one. Let's just save just in case. Now it helps if I press the. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Elseworld, so I'm used to the keys on that, which are slightly different from the keys on this. Okay, so that's about the game. There's nothing much to say about it. It's quite tight. All the combat is quite nice. Everything works together well. The fact that you've got different modes when you change the graphics and they seem to be actually completely different. The music is really nice and goes with the pace of the game. The fact that you have a certain time, it works really well. Like at 30 seconds is a day, it's at the beginning of the day and some of them you have to do some stuff at the beginning of the day or it doesn't work and some stuff you have to do at the end of the day and quickly get in and get out so it's always quite good here this evil lord is actually someone that you do fight in the first game so it actually ties up I just wanted to quickly see Oh, so you can see here, this is also different. We can summon different guys to... Uh, just summon so many minions. Um, so yeah, that's... This is the game. You can see there's lots of different modes, so it's definitely worth play having a look at them all even if some of them are just kind of more like mini games they all last for a decent amount of game I like I can actually attack as you can see each part of the game has all its different there's all its different um story even if it's any little the actions most of the game seeing as most of the game plays out in 30 seconds and you can skip most of the dialogue is designed to be like skipped and it's up to you to play it as you want really but that's about it so thank you for watching and i will see you next time this has been half minute hero bye